Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So today I am at the salon doing my weekly inventory, as you might say. Had to come by to make sure I was good. I normally like do a list of things if I need something for the next week. Or I double check before I leave, but I need to just stop by for something. So I am here and decided to pick up the camera. What y'all doing? What are y'all doing today? Today is what? Monday. On this beautiful Monday. So I had to fill out something. So I'm just filling something out really quick. So yeah, let me say while I'm thinking about it, that I truly appreciate y'all for tuning in and watching all of our videos. You all support is just amazing. Love it, love it, love it. So thank y'all so much for continuing to tune in video after video after video. And um, you appreciate it. Thank you. Definitely don't take it for granted, for sure, for sure. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of our uploads. So yeah, let me get done what I need to get done so I can get up out of here. I'm back. But before I go, I have to show you some of the best products in the world. HD Essentials Herbal Hair Oil and Hair Body Butter. Okay, round two. There's more. Yes, I, I forgot to thank y'all for that too. Even though I'm sure I've thanked you a million times before. Thank you for supporting my brand, my baby. Working on so much more for you all. So excited to be coming out with some more styling products very, very soon. So yeah, of course I'll let y'all know. So let me move my candy bowl. When you come into the salon, you get to get some sweet treats. <laughs> so yeah, let me turn the light on. <clears throat> We got the tree still up. Y'all know it's Easter this week. <laughs> so the tree is still up and going. <sighs> it's dark back here. Let me turn some lights on. There we go. Let me turn y'all around. Okay, I'm back. So I had to come to the back to make sure I had what I needed. The life of a hairstylist, y'all. I know I've had a couple people on the channel tell me that they were either hairstylists back in the day or um, that they had hairstylists in their family. So. That was pretty cool to hear. So you know the life of a hairstylist, the hustle and bustle of it all, especially on a holiday. So traditionally, any holiday, the salon is like super busy, super packed. Like this week is um, Resurrection Sunday or Easter, whatever you choose to call it. But it's normally a busy, busy week in the salon. So, according to me and how I work and my schedule, I normally do appointments regardless of what holiday it is. Christmas, Easter, Mother's Day, whatever it is, I strictly stick to my appointments. And by doing that way, it makes my day go smoother. I'm able to get people in and out. And I'm able to... Um, not have my clients having long wait times so normally how it goes one person is coming in 
while the other is going out. Like I've gotten the time frames of how long services take down to a science. So I pretty much know how long each service takes and how long each guest will be in the salon. So I love that about <clears throat> having good time management. So that's a tip for any of you hairstylists or if you go to a hairstylist that they don't, um, what's the word, value your time. You know, you may want to switch it up, find you somebody else because I feel like everybody's time is valuable and you're paying for a service that, you know, the time, your, your appointment time should be your appointment time. So, okay, enough about that. Let me finish getting my inventory, okay? I see you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there, cause I know you want it. Afraid to let it show. And I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow? I think it's time we stop tipping on our toes. What's holding you back now, sugar? I don't know if y'all have ever seen like a color swatch book. Let me show you. It has like all of the hair colors in there. This is normally what I let my clients um, look at or what we go by for if somebody wants color or if somebody has to do a color consultation. So it's pretty cool. You're able to see what color you're getting before you get it, basically. Today is Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. Happy Easter to you all. And um, I am about to get in the kitchen and whip up our Easter dinner. So, what is on the menu today? I'm doing Cornish hen, some green beans with potatoes mixed in i believe i'm doing some glazed carrots um what else am i doing i'm missing something let me figure out what i'm missing hold on okay i think i had it right i think i'm, I'm keeping it simple today i know i have my my cornish hands here um I have some cut green beans. I bought some baby carrots. I thought that'll be a nice little um, 
something different, you know. Um, I got my bacon I want to use for my green beans. Some bell peppers. And yeah, I don't know why I feel like I'm missing something. Hmm. Quarantine green beans. Got my carrots as my vegetable. I think I'll have, I'll have, I think I have like some rolls or something. I think that's it. I thought about some macaroni and cheese, but I don't know. I might not do it. We'll see what happens. I just wanted to open this video and bring y'all along with what I was doing and to wish you a happy Easter or Resurrection Day. So yeah, let's get this thing started so I can be finished. I'm not trying to be in the kitchen long today. So I'm going to be multitasking, so... um. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to be just vlogging or if, you know, I'll just be showing y'all what I'm doing. We shall see. Okay, I'm back, y'all. I think I was going to make some potato salad. That's what it was. <sighs> yeah, potato salad. It's early. I think I'm half asleep. <laughs> let, me, let me get myself woke so I can get my life together. But, yeah, I'm going to do Cornish hen. Green beans with potatoes mixed in them, possibly. Glazed carrots and some potato salad. I know that's kind of a different combination, but it's what I wanted. So, yeah, that's what it's going to be today. What y'all having for dinner? Tell me on what y'all having for dinner. So, yeah, let me get my, my setup together and I'll be back. Don't deny that I could use some company All my friends say, honey, just let him be Now your perfume's stuck in my shirt And there's an empty left in my bed I don't know about you, but put you first I bought some new flowers, they are all dead First you are in, then you are out Like snow just want your time. I got my hand all cleaned and ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is get my um, onion chopped up. I'm going to put some uh, bell peppers and onion in there with my hand. Just for a little added flavor. Of course, I'm going to season it, but I love using bell pepper and onion when I cook. It's just, you know, a little extra flavor to your meal. I don't like cutting onions. I don't know about you. Do y'all have any tricks to not hurt your eyes and, and have you crying while you're making, while you're cutting up onion? Please let me know, because I haven't found it yet. I'm just gonna cut up some onion. I'm actually gonna be using part of the onion for my hen, and then I'll be using part of it for my green beans. So yeah, be right back. Let me get my hen in my dish. All right, here we go. So. What I'm going to do is get my seasonings together. I'm going to be doing what I normally do by putting all of my seasonings in my little bowl here. I'm going to add some olive oil to it. And then we're going to just kind of glaze the hen with the seasonings. I'm going to use this garlic and herbs. Complete seasoning. I'm gonna use a little lemon pepper. A little slap your mama for a little, little kick. And some paprika for a little color. A little color. 
I'm forgetting my parsley. Let me get my parsley. I'm gonna be right with without some, some parsley, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get this stirred up. I'm actually going to add a little bit more um, complete seasoning. So this is what it looks like. So what I'm making is kind of like a, a base or like a paste because I'm going to add some olive oil to this. And we want to glaze it all over our pan. And because I'm going to bake this, I thought about doing it in the air fryer, but I'm going to bake it. Because I want it to be a little bit more juicy. If I put it in the air fryer, it'll give me that rotisserie chicken um, taste. So I want it to be a little bit more juicy and moist. So... I'm gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna take some of my peppers. I'm actually gonna put it on top, I mean underneath the hen. We'll put a few of the onions on there. situation here. <laughs> oh, let me get a little bit more oil. Okay. I added a little bit more oil because it was too thick. So I'm going to be able to just kind of rub it all over. You know how you have a day where you have to get up early and you're cooking and you realize, well, I'm hungry right now. So your girl has to multitask 
and cook a little breakfast while cooking dinner. And um, since I'm cooking some bacon to go into my green beans, I decided to cook some of that bacon up with some biscuits and maybe like make like a bacon egg and cheese biscuit or a bacon cheese biscuit, something, something quick. That way we can um, have some breakfast. So that is what I am doing. Putting these biscuits on this bacon sheet, that way I can get them started. Because it won't take long for the bacon. <clears throat> so yeah, I decided to pop back in and let you know what I was doing. <laughs> okay y'all, my potatoes just finished cooking. So of course I'm going to have to let them cool all the way down before I um, I'm able to make my potato salad. So I have this seasoning million here. I want to use this as my vegetables inside of my potato salad. So I'm going to have to cut up any veggies. So I had them in the refrigerator, so I'm going to, they're still cold, so I won't have to saute them. I'm just going to put them in the bottom of my bowl that I want to sit my potatoes in. And then basically the, the hot potatoes will soften and cook my, um, my vegetables without me having to saute them myself. So that is that. Quick little tip. <laughs> Are y'all like me? I really don't like frying bacon. I really don't. I don't like getting popped. <laughs> so I do normally cook it in the oven, but I got my oven already filled up. So I cut my bacon in half. I'm gonna get this into the frying pan. Oh no, I gave my heart away. Went a bit too far. So wrong. Oh no, open up my soul. But babe, how could I know? We've been getting stuff done. Do y'all do this when y'all in the kitchen? You have a bag of trash. <laughs> I do that when I'm cooking. That way I can throw all my trash in one bag. Now, um, somebody a couple videos back gave me a tip to have a hot uh, sink of water to clean as I go. I'm actually about to do that now. So, so that way when I'm done, I can be done completely. So let me get to these dishes. Could I know you're cold? Shame on you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Should have seen what you were like. Dangerously nice. You got me on So blinded. You got me on Listen to the bacon is almost done, y'all. So this is how Mr. Allen likes his bacon. He likes his bacon like this. I like mine to be crispy. So I'm gonna get ready to take his out and leave mine in there a little bit longer. Just wanted to pop back in and show y'all the bacon. I'll be back. to get the green beans started so I didn't clean my pot out I'm going to use that same baking 
grease that was in there. That's just the, just going to be some extra seasoning. So I added some butter and I'm going to add in some onion. Just gonna cook these onions down a little bit and then add in my drained um, green beans. Okay, I changed my mind. I want the other onions in there. <laughs> a real simple dish I got my uh, fresh cut green beans I've drained them I'm just doing two cans we don't have any guests coming over it's just us so we'll have enough for now and a little bit for later so the seasoning I'll be using is some chicken bouillon and some of my nature seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle some in there. I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and then I'm gonna add in my potatoes and then let them cook so i'll be back okay y'all i'm gonna go ahead and add in my potatoes i put two small potatoes in there this reminds me of back in the day my mom used to make this all the time and look at me. <laughs> look at me. So I'm just gonna cover this with the top and let it steam for about 15 to 20 minutes and then, or until the potatoes are tender. It smells so good. But until the potatoes are tender, and then this will be done. The girl making progress today. Pretty quick. Okay. Okay, while I have my green beans over here doing their magic, I'm going to get my carrots started in this pot over here. So basically, I'm just going to steam them. I'm adding some water to my pan. I'm going to steam them and cover them and cook them for probably about 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes or until they get tender. I'm using baby carrots here. I've already cleaned them. So yeah, I'm just going to get them steamed up in this pot and I'll be back when they get fork tender. Let me 
not quite yet. They're still um, still firm, so I'm gonna let them keep steaming. I just wanted to check on them. Cause I don't want them to get mushy. I just want them to get fork tender. So I'm gonna let them keep steaming. Okay, y'all, I'm back checking to see if my carrots are fork tender. Let's see. Yeah, they are. So I'm gonna get these drained and I'll be right back to finish them off. Okay, I have my carrots drained and ready. I'm gonna add in some butter. Some brown sugar. Chop this up a little bit. And I have some honey. y'all to enjoy some coffee iced coffee that is I hadn't had no coffee since Thursday I'm doing good I'm actually trying to stretch out my stretch out my coffee and not drink so much but it's so good so guess what girl finish dinner oh guess what else y'all I can't remember who it was suggested it but I've done it before but I stopped doing it which was clean as I cook and I feel so much more fulfilled because the dinner is done and the dishes is done God is good. God is good. It's just, a, it's beautiful. I, t I just told Mr. Allen, I was like, I did it. The kitchen is clean and dinner is done. So yeah, that's definitely going to be my new thing. I'm going to get it all done at the same time. Which I'm, I'm big on multitasking anyway, so that's what I'll be doing. So yeah, me and Max just out here on the patio enjoying the breeze mr allen is inside doing some house stuff cleaning up on catching up cleaning cleaning and um doing some house stuff that he's been wanting to do so we just chilling y'all we just chilling um i'll be wanting to do more vlog style videos but we don't be doing nothing <laughs> We don't be doing nothing. Nothing too exciting going on. Just your, just my your everyday cleaning up, cooking, getting things done, or chilling, watching TV, catching up on some TV shows, or catching up on some work. So, I just decided to pick up the camera while I was sitting on the porch, enjoying the breeze. It's actually kind of cloudy cloudy right now it rained last night it poured down raining last night um so it still got an overcast today 
but it still feels good out here so that's a blessing i'm grateful i pray y'all are having a great day enjoying your family enjoying yourselves getting rejuvenated for this new week but yeah i'm just gonna sit out here and enjoy my coffee and chill out here hanging with max <laughs> so i'll see y'all in the next clip say who is it who is it <laughs> who is it who is it let me at him let me at him <laughs> max can anybody come over here without you cutting up Oh, hey y'all. <laughs> I wanted to come back and close out this video. So as you can see, your girl is chilling on the sofa. Just catching up on some TV and um, a little rest. So today, um, I showed you what I cooked and um, got a little uh, chill time in, did some housework. And um, yeah, enjoyed our Easter Sunday. So I needed to come back on and close out this video. Hope y'all had a great Sunday, spending time with family, um, and enjoying your day. So yeah, um, I'm gonna finish chilling on the sofa while I watch some TV. And uh, Mr. Allen had to work. So yeah, he had to leave us. So he had to work and um, I was like, let me close out the video with the, with the peeps tonight. And um, yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.